Alexa versus Jaina. You asked for it. Let's go hunt begin. But it loses to everything else, which is fine. It helps us a lot. When our opponent, when the deck that beats you loses to everything, it's pretty sweet for us. It's interesting. Burgly Billy might be some some hot new tech to just start throwing in decks <laughs> if this hunter deck becomes popular enough. I've had a few mirrors and stuff. It's not unpopular, but it's not popular yet. Bluff that explosive so that he swings into the Wandering Monster. OTK Pally's increasing in popularity. Alright, well. I think OTK Pally's still bad. GG. I mean, it's a reactive deck with like two good cards. You got like equality and call to arms. Everything else is pretty mediocre. I mean, it's fun, but I definitely don't think it's gonna be tier one or tier two. I think it's a low tier three deck, but it does have a surprisingly good matchup against our deck. Easy spellstone. Got ice blocked from Glyph. No, we got our message from Glyph. Secret snap from Glyph. Yeah. You can't run silence in this deck, so you get destroyed by Spike Ridge Steed. Not by the Paladin. Like, not by actual OTK Paladin. It's just a deck that runs Spike Ridge Steed. <laughs> it just destroys you, because you cannot run silence, and that card is really good. Spike Ridge Steed is real again, guys. Priest is gone. Or at least Priest is not running Psychic Scream and Silence and being Rosal Priest anymore. It's still there, it just has limited amount of spells because it's like big spell Priest and stuff like that. It's okay. Oftentimes it's no minion hunter. Looking for Barnes, we're looking for Flare, we're looking for Spellstone. Mmm, delicious Spellstone. Spellstone is often better than Barnes in this matchup. Barnes is easily countered by the Hunter's Marks. So the Spellstone is higher priority. <laughs> I, you take both of them, right? You're, not, you're never mulliganing away Barnes, but the Spellstone is where you want to be at against Hunter, man. This counters Cat Trick so hard. Damn. <laughs> to my side. Oh man, that Huffer is lit up. Turn. We get the first spellstone off though, so it's pretty good. If he doesn't have barns, that might be a kitty cut. Well, we're gonna do that. Just play around cat trick a little bit, I guess, and give us another out to hit a secret. Maybe that's just wrong. I regret doing it, but like if it's cat trick, I want to play the player that turn. But, like, we're not actually pushing after the flare. I'm not sure if it was correct. It was good because he had nothing, but if he goes Spellstone after that, we're sad. So I think we're supposed to coin Spellstone and just embrace the cat. So I think I just misplayed that. Wandering Monster's probably better. I think it's busting at Hunter's Mark, so... I had Spellstone, he didn't. GG. It's 
Spellstone's really broken. <laughs> it's it's one of the most broken cards in the game right now. If you don't have AoE in your deck, you lose. If you have tempo deck, you lose. It's silly. Abusing broken cards for the win. I feel fine against Priest. I think oftentimes they lose their Dustbreaker synergy because they can't run enough dragons. By the time I play Spellstone, since they're forced to pressure me, otherwise they lose to the inevitability of me finding Barnes at some point in the game, then uh, they just like don't have active Dustbreakers, so they only have one active Dustbreaker, and then they have to use it on other stuff. Flanking Strike's also really busted. 